morning, everyone, and I hope everyone's having a very good time. So my topic is Twitter, how do you get your followers? You know, this reminds me when you were in school and everybody asked, oh, you had an exam? How many marks did you get? Now, the minute someone's on Twitter, the first thing you ask, or the first thing you notice is, how many followers do you have? Because without followers on Twitter, you're like, ah, OK, fine, whatever. You're not worth listening to. There's this perception on Twitter. Anyways, we're going to talk about how do you get your followers. So this topic is a subtopic of the bigger picture in social media, which is learning how to surf the waves of opinion. And I've added that one. And how to create them too. Because you can create your own opinion on Twitter. You can have a whole wave of your opinion going on Twitter. And that is why Twitter today is such a powerful medium to express yourself. After me, we'll have uh, other people who cover social media. We have Sandeep and we have Vikas who will be taking over Facebook and blogging. And before I go into the talk, before I tell you all the tips, um, you know, here is something that's really important to know. And uh, can I just, just out of curiosity, can I just ask how many of you have Twitter accounts here? <laughs> Okay, so that's quite a few, quite a few of you. And, uh, all right. Okay, so this is why I believe that Twitter per se is important. Because if you don't have any followers, you're not surfing. If you don't have, you know, followers and you're not surfing, you don't have a presence. No presence, no voice. No voice, no story. There's no one to hear you if you're not out there. Not only on Twitter, what I mean is social media as well. And before we begin, to, to go further into it, this is another question. This is another thing which is very pertinent for our generation. And the question is, why did social media become so popular for opinion generating, for opinion, for opinion generation? It is very pertinent that we answer this question. And this question, the answer to this question, has pretty much you know, given us all the followers that we have. So Twitter became popular because mainstream, mainstream media let us down. They failed us. For a lot of us who are on Twitter today, felt that we had no say, we had no voice, we didn't have an opinion, there was no one to hear us, there was no one to hear our side of the story. We felt failed. We felt failed as a country, as a country of patriots, as a country of, let's say, Hindus. We felt there was no voice for Hindus and we had to, had to do it for ourselves. Because let's face it, if Hindus don't talk about themselves, if we don't come together and talk about ourselves and the things that are happening to us, to our sisters in Pakistan and Bangladesh, Al Jazeera and all the Christian and the Jewish, Jewish um, channel networks are not going to do the job for us. We have to do it for ourselves. So this is one of the reasons why social media, why Hindus began to flock to social media. That is why the term Internet Hindu also came up, because all the aggressive Hindus, all of them who were like, yeah, yeah, and it was given by a mainstream journalist, by the way, and she meant it as a, as a dishonorable thing, you know. Unfortunately, now that has become a badge of honor. You know, how things just change. Next. So who were the first Twitterati? And this, you know, and so while, when we talk about all these people who did not have a voice, who did not have somewhere to, you know, say, say something, so for example, I think I had a conversation with Sandeep uh, a very, very long time ago. And he said that, you know, all these wrong articles would come. I think I was talking to Sandeep itself, um, you know. And he said all these wrong articles would come in the newspaper. And you know, you would write and, and say, okay, no, this is wrong. This is what is right. So the editor would publish it once. He would publish it twice. But after the third, the fourth, the fifth, the sixth, the seventh time, there was no one to hear your voice. So where would you go and talk about it? So people came to Twitter, they came to blogging, they came to, they came to these places to talk about it, and then these were the first famous Twitterati. So when you see people with a large number of followers, these are the kind of people who said, okay, I can't go there anymore, I don't have a voice, I want to get here. So, um, you know, then most of the, you know, and they also, by the way, so these are the first people who also went against mainstream media. They were the ones who were, let's say, um, they, were, they also targeted journalists, they tar targeted channels. And mind you, anybody on Twitter, the Twitterati or blogging or whatever, they're very smart people. They're the ones who've got their homework ready. They've got proofs, they've got facts, they've got everything on their side. They've gone and had blogs and they've linked to their Twitter accounts. 
everything's out there. Now, this is again very important. Why do Hindus need to be on Twitter? We need to be on Twitter, and this is, you know, I'm not only addressing all of you sitting here, this is going to get recorded and it is going to get out there in, in, in the media, it is going to be out there on YouTube perhaps. So again, why am I saying, why do all the Hindus need to be on Twitter? We need to be on Twitter because we need to be heard. Our voices need to be heard. There is no one fighting for us. We have got to fight for ourselves. Al Jazeera is not going to fight for you. CNN is not going to fight for you. BBC is not going to fight your battles. You've got to do it on your own. And there is no organized Hindu media. There is no particular organized Hindu media channel. And that is why you see lone warriors, lone intellectual warriors coming on Twitter. So you've got Facebook, you've got you know all other bloggings. And that is why this is happening. This is the medium that we can use to raise awareness on the atrocities that are happening to us. This is the medium we use to connect ourselves. This is the medium we, we need to use to you know, link people from across the world. You know, we need to raise awareness for, uh, for all the atrocities that are happening again in Pakistan and Bangladesh, all the temples that have been you know, broken down. <clears throat> we need to you know, get attention to the SDs who are our distant cousins. We need to do this. You know, um, when I read history, <clears throat> there are 100 million Hindus who have disappeared in the last few hundred years. No one knows where they are. No one talks about it. We've got to talk about it. And that is why we need to be on Twitter, we need to be on Facebook, we need to be on blog, blogs. And we need, to, we need to discuss this, we need to educate our people. This is like the, the whitewash. This is like the whitewashed Hindu genocide. It's been shoved under the carpet like it never happened. So talk about it, talk about ourselves, talk about our religion, talk about everything. And let's get onto Twitter, let's get onto these, uh, let's get onto these places so that people, um, you know, so that, you know, let's say journalists, so that other people, the world gets to know about us, gets to know about our story, gets to know about what's happened. And you know, these are the reasons why I got onto Twitter. Because I used to read so much. And I felt when I used to interact with people in, you know, in daily life, I used to feel, well, you don't know anything. How come I have read so much? How come you don't know? So I went to Twitter, I went to Facebook, I went to all these places. And then I discovered these individual people from across the world who are on there and who know the history, like I have read history. And I was very happy that there are people who are out there and talking about us and doing all the things that we are doing. Okay. So we'll get down to the technical things right now, and that is, how do we do it? So one of the first cardinal rules in Twitter, um, <clears throat> in how to get followers, is being authentic. Now by, what do I mean by being authentic? By being authentic, I mean you stick to who you are. You be genuine. Don't tweet stuff that you don't believe in. Don't pretend because people are really fast in you know catching you up and you'll be caught out if you pretend. People hate hypocrites, people don't like fake people. And if you're authentic, if you're true to yourself, you'll also be consistent in your tweets. Tweet truth. Sweet truth, sweet truth. Always try and speak the truth. Even if you're speaking for your side, speak the truth which is there for your side. Be honest and true to your cause. Again, I repeat that. Be honest and true to your cause. If your cause is Hinduism, be true to your cause. If your cause is politics, be, be true to your cause. Be true to your politics. Also, the lucidity of your, of your thoughts, obviously truthful thoughts, will also get you more followers. You know, the easier you are, the, the, the easier it is for you to express yourself. It will be easier for other people to follow you. People will not trust you again, that this trust factor comes in again. If you tweet lies, people will not be able to trust you. They will not know whether they can depend on you or not depend on you for, for, for the truth. Mischievous propaganda and falsehoods will only beget ridicule. So just be careful before you, you know, get into indulge in all of that. Communicate. Now communicate, chat, and discuss. The more you communicate with your followers, the more you communicate with rest of the Twitterati, the tweet pool, it is better for you. 
because people watch the conversations that are happening. People like to read conversations between people and they follow you if you're having an interesting conversation. Some believe that you know, uh, some believe that you should not be over friendly with, with the rest of your followers and you know, other Twitterati. I believe that you've got to be friendly with them. In fact, strangely, I have a lot of Twitterati, they're friends with me. You know why? Because we, we went to all these workshops, you know, social media workshops. We went for social media engineering. We attended so many workshops. And I came to know this whole new world of friends. Of course, you've got to use your own discretion. But I sort of don't believe so much into it. And the more, the more you communicate and the better you communicate, it is, it is especially about the subjects that you feel really strongly about, the more followers you will get. Make sure you tweet about subjects that you feel really strongly about. Okay, this is the first and the biggest formula. Do not tweet routine, please. Do not do that. I am not interested in knowing what time you wake up when you go to bed. <laughs> and honestly, no one's interested in the color of your you know, baby's poop until it's your Kim Kardashian. No one. Like really, and some people do this. You know, people are thinking, "What is she saying?" But trust me, I've been on Twitter for you know quite a while, and no, it's not done. Another thing is that if you're treating routine or random nonsense, understand that this is the average smartphone that you've got. And so, if a person opens a Twitter account, he can only see his Twitter account. He'll see the first only three to four tweets at a maximum. You don't want to turn him off. You don't want to tweet bullshit and routine and turn that person off. So tweet. Tweet, you know, tweet regular stuff, tweet things. The cat principle. So we've got two types of cats on Twitter. One is a copycat and the other is a cool cat. <laughs> so you've got to be the cool cat. A cool, what's, a, what's a cool cat? Always be a cool, independent individual with your own voice. Again, with your own voice. And why I'm saying the cat? Because the cat is a very individualistic animal. It's very independent. It doesn't need people around. Okay, and a copycat. Nobody likes a copycat, even on Twitter. Nobody likes thieves, and nobody wants you to steal their tweets. It's a big turn off, and no one really appreciates that on Twitter. And if you really like what someone is saying, always quote source or quote tweet. You know, if those who are familiar with uh, Twitter or anything, they've got those who are familiar with the uh, iPhones and those who access Twitter on the iPhones, you always have the quote tweet option. Use quote tweet. Never have never copy tweets. Or if you're using um, text from somewhere, if you're cop you know if you're talking about a particular text or a particular book, do tweet that as well. That you know where the source is coming from. The political agenda. Now, if you have a political agenda, be open and clear about it. There is no need to be covert about it. In fact, the last, um, you know, the last one year, one of the reasons um, a lot of people had, you know, um, some people had more Twitter following than the others was also because they they were out in the open about their political agenda. There was nothing to, you know, there was nothing to hide about it. Also, know that in the last one year, and I'm talking based on my last year's experience on Twitter. Political incorrectness gets you followers. At least it got you followers in the last one year. Especially if, if you know, it was with regards to secularism or corruption or anti-incumbency, that gets you even more followers. Now, how do you pre present yourself? Presentation. Always present your views with facts and not rhetoric. Use links to support your tweets, your views, use photos, Videos, snapshots, always support them with facts. People like, you know, you know, you can only tweet 140 characters. People like to know where you're quoting from, where it is, and if you're talking about something, they want to see the video, if they want to see the, the photograph, they want to see the blog, they want to read more. And then we have Prime Master Gogo. <laughs> talking about snapshots. There is this famous saying on Twitter, and I have heard people repeat this so many times. It's actually the status of one of the most uh, popular Twitterati online. His name is Barbar Indian. He says, media is a crime scene, always take pictures. <laughs> always take pictures. It's like, media is a crime scene. Always take pictures. He says, always take pictures, always take screenshots. Okay. 
So what that means is that the, you know these people they watch like a hawk. You said this the other day. You said this the other day. So they'll dig these tweets out. They'll take pictures and they'll put the two together and they'll put it across. They'll expose you. So what I mean by Prime Master Gogo -Go is that if you want more followers on Twitter, and this this is for everybody, you have to be the jasus. You've got to be the FBI. You've got to dig the past. You've got to put this together. You've got to take a photograph, mark what they said. You've got to take the new photograph. And those who have done that in the past, those who have exposed hypocrisies, those who have exposed the lies, those who have been you know, successful in catching the media crime master gogos, they've had more followers. <clears throat> now, <clears throat> which subjects get you more followers? <coughs> there are a few subjects on Twitter that will always get you more followers. Those subjects are current affairs, Politics, news, and history. And by history, I mean like history, dharma, it's sort of itihasa, it's combined. <clears throat> any, any, any time, you know, if you, if you start digging out, I'm not going to go on current affairs and politics and news because now, you know, the elections are over. If you were into active politics, if you were into all of that, and if you start putting out political tweets, all, all of a sudden people, you, more people started following you. So I'm just going to go stick on to history, dig out ancient history, dig out, you know, dig out your proud heritage, read about books, start quoting, you know, um, you know, um, lines from the books and talk about your country, talk about your people, talk about all the things that are happening, talk about Bharat and the past, the glorious past and all those things. There is this hunger in the newer generation, the newer, the young kids, the young kids, not everybody knows that, you know, that we have, you know, for example, in the um, in the Hanuman Chalisa, the distance from Earth to the Sun is mentioned, but hey, who knew about it? It was only when someone came on Twitter and Facebook and started talking about it that people actually, oh wait, did you know about this? Did you know about this? That became fashionable. That that became sort of like the the person to follow. So I do suggest that if you have such knowledge, share it. People want to read it. There is a hunger. People don't know. They want to know. They want to feel proud about who. You know, the Hindus want to feel proud about who they were and they really appreciate when you give them this sort of knowledge out there. Reciprocity. Twitter is a very reciprocal, it's, it's extremely reciprocal. You know, it's not like here that you have friends and friends can betray you because the, the kind of like, uh, the kind of balance on Twitter is very different. If you follow people, people will follow you back. If you communicate with people, people will com communicate with you. If you appreciate people, if you appreciate that you know their their tweets, if you appreciate what they've said, they remember to appreciate you back. It's a, it's very much a very equi, you know like they'll they'll reward you with with everything. And every time someone retweets your tweets, every time someone talks to you or mentions you, that again gets you followers. So make sure that you follow this principle on Twitter as well. Now this is another very interesting way to get followers. Trending. Always participate in trends that you find interesting or that are happening or that you, know, you have something to say about that trend. Because when you're trending, you click on the trend, you'll see everybody's tweets, everybody who said something about it, uh, everybody who has you know something interesting, some interesting picture to share. By trending, this is how new people will discover you. New people who don't know, who are not your followers. This is how they discover you on Twitter. And a tweet that goes viral, a tweet, a video, or something, whatever, you know, if it goes viral, it goes. Re the reach of a viral tweet is really far, and you will have people following you from all sorts of places if you if you have viral tweets. So make sure you participate in trends. <laughs> the art of trolling. Now a lot of people feel really bad about trolling, but there's nothing wrong. It's a very subtle art. Subtle art. You don't have to be abusive. You don't have to be. You know. You don't have to be nasty. There is a subtle art of trolling, and this subtle art of trolling gets you a few more followers. And why? I'll tell you why that gets you followers. Um, and when I say trolling, you don't have to be abusive or you don't have to be really nasty. One of the reasons is that people on Twitter really enjoy conversations. They, they want to read masala, they want to read gossip, you know, something, there was a fight, there was an altercation with these two people on Twitter, did you know about it? They're actually, you know, we have all these WhatsApp groups, and on these WhatsApp groups, if there's like some conversation happening, hey, did you know that? There was a fight between this one and this one, this one got 
one, this one, you know, blah, 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 this one exposed, this one, blah, blah, blah. So it, it, it gets actually very interesting and people love masala, let's just face it. People love masala, they want chatpata stuff happening on Twitter and they sort of will sort of follow you if there's like an, you know, if you troll someone, you kind of do it like with a little bit of dignity. I'm not saying go abuse because that just falls flat on the face. Okay, Mr. Funny or Mr. Snarky? Snarky is a slang for being sarcastic. So if you want more followers on Twitter, you've got to be Mr. Funny. Funny and witty people get more followers than you know snarky people or snarky mm -hmm. tweets. It's just, it's just a basic rule, but a lot of people sort of are sarcastic and they don't understand that the other person doesn't really understand sarcasm. Funny tweets always will get you followers. Witty, being witty as well gets you many, many followers. 24 o'clock. Another interesting principle, another interesting way to get more Twitters. This is the best, actually this is one of the better things about Twitter. It is always awake, it's always happening, it's always alive. And at any single point, at 3 in the morning, 4 in the morning, at 6 in the morning, at 10 at night, whatever, any time that you get there, there are people there talking, you know, it's like a party happening, so you can join that party at any time. Those people who want more followers, can also can also you know uh, make use of apps like uh, Tweetcaster, Hootsuite. You can actually like feed in tweets so that it sort of tweets 24 hours. And why I say 24 hours is important is because let's say you're in India. There is a particular time zone that's working in India. And so if you tweet let's say late at night where Indians have gone to sleep, there are people from other countries who will follow you, will see you, and then they'll follow you. So that way you'll have many people from many countries following you on Twitter if you're tweeting at, you know, what hours even in India. And kind of tweet all the time. That, that's what a lot of people do. A lot of popular Twitterati tweet all the time. Now, extras and toppings. Like any pizza, even Twitter is more interesting with extras and toppings. And by extras and toppings, I mean blogs, Facebook, WordPress, Instagram, and other accounts that people can have. The more people will read your thoughts, and it, because remember, Twitter is only 140 characters, and you can only express that much on Twitter. So when people go to your blog, they read what you have to talk about, they understand what you're saying, they, they, they tend to follow you more. Also, also, also good, good writers get you more number of followers. And this is my last point. Never buy followers. You can actually buy followers, you can buy people to like you on, on Twitter, on Facebook and all of that and I would say that's just a no-go. You know, when the politics, when, when the elections are going on in India, there were politicians in Delhi who had more followers in Turkey. <laughs> How would a politician in Delhi have more followers in Turkey? That's just ridiculous. Please don't do this to yourselves. Never buy followers. You will become the laughing stock of, of Twitter, of Facebook, of, of you know, all social media. You may, however, choose to sponsor yourself. You can sponsor yourself and sort of promote yourself, especially if you have something really nice to say and you, know, you want to do that. And now, I want to say a thank you to all the people on Twitter who helped me out. And there are Rabies, Barbar Indian, Titanic, Kiran, Central Pride. There are a few others who gave me their tips. And these are, these are Twitter heavyweights. I call them Twitter heavyweights because they have a large number of followers. That's it. Thank you.